What's up guys, my name is Kojo Q and I'm here on iMula to break down my new album for my brothers. Let's go. Alright, so the first song, I call this one Rich Dad, Poor Dad, after that famous Robert Kiyosaki book. And on here, I just talk about uh, the need for us to do better than the generation before us so that our kids don't suffer from the same sins that we suffer from. Yeah. Alright, the second song on there, I call this one Dia, which in Chi means curse, but it can also mean tree. So, in continuation with the whole family, uh, Theme. Yeah, and I had this beat from Fortune Dane. Shout outs to him, amazing beat. And usually I would have just done bars, 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 but this time I decided to just speak my truth. Yeah. Uh, the third song, I call this one Workaholics Anonymous, produced by Chris D. And on this one, I just wanted to talk about work and just the pressures of being a worker, both from the point of view of the employee and the employer. And I also happen to interpolate Cruciata's grinding in there. So definitely worth checking out. Uh, smiling, shout out to DJ Jews, Julian Jews on it, Jews baby, whatever you may choose to call him. But he gifted me this song with Lady Donnelly already on it. And when last he connected me with Show Them Camp and they came through for me. Amazing vibe challenge. Nobody does that blend of high life and hip hop better than Jews. The fifth song, I call this one on Sabeka, which is Chi for uh, Your Hand Will Get. And we're definitely just talking about uh, you, everybody will get what is due them no matter what. And shout out to AI, he came through with some old school high life vibe. Beats was produced by Shaker, and it's an incredible record. Yeah, song number six is Muddy Story, featuring uh, the incredible Maya, incredible writer produced by Juicy and on this one funny story about it the very first version was over a Rexoma sample and I couldn't clear it so we ended up with the song and, and the song is beautiful and yeah and definitely Maya is like top five songwriters any day any day like she just killed it she 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 executed my my point of view like perfectly yeah, never mind. I just, uh, this one features Boyd and another production by Chris D. I just wanted to talk about uh, mental health for like a minute and just uh, the whole vibe of how people in our culture will ask you, how are you? As just a greeting without actually meaning to really know how are you? Yeah, like how you're doing, yeah. Shout out to my boy Trebler. Uh, boys know they cry. I think there was a scene there that yeah, shows the song very much, yeah. Yeah, Lusa, um, it's, actually, it's actually a trip because what I'm saying on the song is sometimes you have to lose people in order to win. So it's like you have to take like temporary uh, losses in order to win in a long time. So that's what Lusa is about. And then in the first two verses, I talk about me cutting people off to win. And then in the third verse, I talk about me cutting somebody off and they won too, so yeah. Um, the next song is uh, Joe and I had a song number nine, I think, yeah. I had my brother well, last year on there, amazing. His process is just amazing. Produced by iPuppy, who's always blessing me with bangers. He gave me Up and Awake, he gave me Joe too. And like, well, last year's process is so beautiful to watch and I wish you guys, I'll, I'll probably put it in the documentary so you guys can see, yeah. Uh, song number 10 is from my sisters, produced by N.A. Uh, she also raps on it along with Miss Fu uh, and Rafaela does the hook. And J. John delivers a beautiful poetry piece. Just wanted a song where women can just tell men what they need them to know without any involvement from me or any other man. Yeah, and they delivered beautifully. Song number 11 is Best Paddy. And it features Jay Derobi, you know? Um, Derobi, that guy is an international superstar in my eyes. Like, the sound, the feel, everything. And what he did with that song, amazing. Shout out to iPuppy too, who produced it. Yeah, you guys should hear that one. It's a banger. Yeah, Agro. 
Um, I got a song number 12, I think, yeah. And I got happened because I hopped on Quisiata's Devil's Knocking and the producer of that Dusha Billions said, oh, he liked what I did, so he would love to work with me. And he sent me a bunch of beats and a girl was in there and um, the hook just came to my head and it turned out to be the song that it is. Yeah, shout out to Ranger Rock Stone, by the way. And you Were Alone, that's, uh, that's the first single of the project, song number 13. And I just wanted to talk about the need for you to understand that life really is about you. And at the end of the day, you're the only one that's bound to pay for or whose opinion should matter to you in terms of how you want to live your life. You know, so just live your life the way you know, because if you die, you will go produced by Juicy. Um, song number 14 is Survivor's Guilt. Um, very, very uh, heartfelt, like heartwarming song. And it's one of the songs that it's all down there. I wrote it after a friend of mine died and it's very special to me and it's very special. Yeah, that's all I can say about that. Uh, produced by Alberto. The last song on there, uh, Share the Song Part 2. It features Adoma and VI Dream Team. It's actually an Adoma song that is my favorite Adoma song. And I always told her that one day I'll remake it. And she thought I was joking. So when I was making the project, I felt like it was the perfect way to close it. Yeah, and it came together beautifully. So that's the Evans Kafu Yofori again. Yeah. So uh, for my brothers, it's a project that has been in constru under construction for maybe six or seven months. Two of the songs are older. Um, shout out to my creative director. Evan Sofori, and to all the producers that work with me on it, Chris D, Fortune Dane, uh, I Papi, uh, Reynolds, The Gentleman, uh, Dusha Billions, Shaker, I'm sure I'm forgetting a few people, but just in the, in the heat of the moment. Yeah, and Nay, definitely. Um, some amazing, amazing, amazing feature decks too. AI, J. Derobi, and Nay, Miss Fu, J. John, Rafaela. Uh, I had Maya on there, so shout outs to her. And then I had Lady Donnelly and Short come from Nigeria. Adoma and VI Dream Team. Yeah, uh, Wolasi. Thank you, thank you guys so much. It's, it's, it's a, a record that I enjoyed making, and I hope that you guys will enjoy listening to it. It's for everybody, everybody. Even though it's called For My Brothers, it's for everybody. So make sure you go and check that out. Music, music for generational thinkers. Yeah, that's what I'll say. Yeah, music for or in two in two words, generational thinking. Yeah, because yeah, that's what it's about. So for my brothers, is out right now, uh, doing amazing on all the streaming platforms. Um, I don't know when you watch this, but as of now, it's number two on Apple Music Ghana, number one on Deezer Ghana as well. Yeah, and you can find it on Apple Music, uh, Deezer, Spotify, Tidal, Amazon Music, iTunes, Google Play, Boom Play, Aftam, and any other streaming service that you use is available everywhere. Just go out there and get it and support your boy, Charlie. Q. Uh, it's your boy, Kojo Q, and I just broke down for my brothers live on Ainula. Uh, make sure you guys keep supporting us. Make sure you guys keep watching everything that we put on here. Amazing content.